Okay, today I'm going to turn these pots that I did the video of them being thrown a couple of days ago. I'm just going to freshen up uh, the pad that I used to stick them onto. Just going to spray a little bit of water onto that. Like I said, these pots haven't been cut, so it's still stuck onto the onto its bat and I'm just centering it there before pressing down firmly so I hope that's pretty well adhered so this is this is a bit funny because it's kind of blind turning because obviously you can't see the inside and how much thickness mostly what I'm going to be doing on the top part is just making sure that any little unevennesses in the throwing are taken out. I want it to be a really continuous profile, so it feels a bit like a pebble in the hand. This is done actually as much by feel, again as by sight, because all the kind of striations that the, that the tools leave are kind of quite misleading so it's better just to rely on what your fingertips are telling you and then because that raises it the, the grain a little bit makes it a wee bit rough I'm just giving it a little smooth over with a rubber kidney that's that's quite nice so now I'm going to where there'll be more to take away which is the the bottom the bottom part of the pot So here it's right down, we're narrowing the foot ring, well it's not the base because it hasn't actually got a foot ring. So leaning back to look at that, that seems about right, I might just take off a teeny bit more. You notice know, I've always got my hand around it, partly because there's always the possibility that things <laughs> spring off the wheel while you're turning. And if you've got a hand around it, you've got a much better chance of saving it. This actually does feel reasonably secure. As with all these processes, it's getting the consistency just right. You want it to be firm enough to turn without deforming or denting, but not so dry that it risks drying off the bat. Before I do the last stage, while it's still firmly attached, I'm now going to cut the oblique neck. So using just a little bit of a surform blade, I'm just going to grate it. with a wet natural sponge and to just use the back of my thumbnail there and now I've got a little bit of chamois as well and I'm just going to go round that rim with the chamois leather just to give it a bit of a softer profile and that's it now, I'm just going to finish off, just check that profile the last time. I can feel just a few little ridges there. I'm just going to smooth those out. And I'm going to 
do a little undercut there. And then to make sure that it frees nicely off the bat, because my bats get a bit worn as is normal, um, with so much exposure to water. And so with a pin, put my preferred pin in a safe place that I can't find. I'm just gonna cut that right at the bottom and that'll help it to come freely off the bat. And there, that's it. A nice little pebble of a vase, which I'm gonna put on the shelf with the other ones. And then they'll dry naturally and free themselves from the bats. And then I'll just smooth the bottoms into a slight hollow with a metal kidney. And that'll be that.